Glad to know you're still with us. And yes, like I told you before we went on that time out, we'll move on to the uh, well comparative analysis of some companies. Yes, call them agricultural companies. We'll start with uh, turnover. We're looking at 2021 and 2022. So we have livestock feeds, we have NASCON, Presco, and Okomo Oil Palm. Starting with livestock feeds now, 2022, 11.182 billion naira. And in 2021, 10.720 billion naira. The percentage change there being 4.31. For NASCON, 40.605 billion naira in 2022. And in 2021, 24.947 billion naira. Percentage change there, 62.76. For Presco, 59.207 billion naira in 2022. And in 2021, 34.236 billion naira. Percentage change there, 72.94. For Okomo Oil Palm, 50.179 billion naira in 2022. And in 2021, 31.045 billion naira. The percentage changed there, 61.63. Well, for turnover, Vincent, I'd like you to uh, talk to us about this. Yes, uh, from uh, the report, you, the figures you just present, talked about, you can see that uh, in terms of top line, a lot of them did, uh, they all did more than last year, except for uh, and the double uh, figures except for livestock feeds and um, you are like aware uh, of the challenges in terms of the, that uh, uh, business in terms of that industry uh, they have seen a uh, increased cost and increased cost for their products i think definitely has increased the uh, also led to reduction in terms of uh, patronage from the market unlike we, the likes of um, presco and okomo this year we have seen a lot of um, the positive performance for them because of what happened in Ukraine and uh, Russia and the, what also happened in uh, Indonesia. We have seen uh, a lot of uh, people turning to local production. Uh, so they are, that has made people to patronize their product. And also we saw a lot of activities for Presco in terms of their recent purchase from uh, their parent company, their operations in uh, River State. I think they are, that's good for the market. Last year, uh, towards the end of 2021, I we saw Presco trading around 80 something. And by January, once the war in Ukraine started, we saw a, uh, the price, a steep increase in the price. And that's what that also affected the Komu because of shortage of um, uh, oil, uh, oil in terms of, I think, I mean, uh, uh, palm oil in the world with, due to the war in Ukraine and also with the cut, of, the cut in production in Indonesia. I think that's affected their profitability, and that's good. But when we start seeing the other figure, you now see where the yeah, what affected the other figure. All right, I think that's a good place uh, to uh, hold it there. Now let's move on to profit after tax. Uh, very quickly for profit after tax, we'll start with livestock uh, feed minus two hundred and nine point seven three six million naira in twenty twenty two. And in 2021, 420.556 million naira. The percentage change there is one minus 149.87. For NASCON, 2.882 billion naira in 2022. And in 2021, 2.415 billion naira. The percentage change there, 19.31. For Presco, 15.877 billion naira in 2022. And in 2021, 13.775 billion naira. Percentage change there, 15.26. For Home oil, uh, that's uh, 18.050 billion naira in 2022. And in 2021, 11.603 billion naira. The percentage change there, 55.56. Ambrose, talk yeah, to us about me, this. Actually, you know, every investor is interested in what in the bottom line of the company. After I think of your what, your cost of say, paying government tasks, what is left is what we are interested to see how the payers are there, yeah. investor. But if you look at this uh, figure, yes, three of them are still in uh, the two digit uh, no, figures, so that uh, they've done well. But like um, Mr. Vincent said, you know, this sector, especially the oil palm related business, mm -hmm. they have demand that even you can't meet their demand. Tell you that you know, for everybody that is thinking long, I think this way you should also pay your time because if there's demand for a product and you're able to meet that means they're going to expand. And that's why when recently in, um, Presco acquired the uh, Fiat. Uh, you know, limited in in, in uh, Patakot is also to increase their world, their market share, which you saw on their top line, or as you have read before now. But I believe that going to the going forward, because uh, Presco has uh, 
really expanded, we expect it to reflect on the bottom line. But seeing this figure that for me, it's also a clear where they're going. But if you look at the last uh, forecast they, they gave, that full year, they were expected to have uh, you know, 27 billion no naira as profit that if that's achieved this year as a goal, that means to have no 27 naira any per share and if you come back to 10 naira per share paying you 15 naira is very easy for them and if you look at the, the figure that have come before now well, we saw that okomo before now have paid them uh, almost nine naira out of in terms of uh, in trade dividend they pay their uh, 22 naira they pay seven naira yeah, but naira. Uh, then first class will pay only two naira for interim for a design investor you know that Okumu cannot pay another 10 naira from the end. As you speak, now, Okumu is not, it's not more than 18 naira so as a third quarter. If no, what person is having almost around 15 naira as a third quarter, the person is going to pay high because they only pay 2 naira and it's going to be like either another 10 naira to make 12 naira. For me, for an investor, yes, the price of Okumu is higher than the Presco now. Yes. And Presco is cheaper around the 137 naira and Okumu is about 168. And Okumu will pay already 9 naira. I think for investors that are really vast, uh, kind of intelligent and thinking that you are there to make money, <laughs> okay. they pay them because I said investment is not about the past, it's about the future. If, remember, if you are thinking of the future, who is going to pay you more? The one that paid the nine naira, you, you are not part of it. That means if I put you nine, looking at what I'm going to pay ahead of you. If investment is again for me, I think uh, Pesco look but the two companies are well run because I can sit on their numbers, but I think for there to make money, not just what like he said, some people invest uh, emotionally. But I tell you what, I'm not interested in the company's name, I'm not interested in the MD, what I'm interested in because the figure will tell you who is there, whether uh, it was doing whether it means their performance. But trying to marry the uh, stock, I feel they are not women, just <laughs> they invest and go. <laughs> Very quickly, but let's have your reaction yeah, to, to the, um, yeah, profit after tax. Tax everything. I like it to react to. Okay, everything. fine. Yes, we've seen the top line, and of course, it's only livestock that is there. We know yeah. what livestock okay. is. Going uh, yes, and the other ones. Yes. Well, I don't want to follow Ambrose. I can fall in love with some stocks. <laughs> 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 yeah, particularly you know, as a stock broker, as a trader, you know, when what you buy and sell on a daily basis, and these companies come and you visit. You know, the last CIS conference in Benin. We were able to visit some of these <laughs> companies, you know, uh, Presco, and it was like homecoming. We were able to see all the things they were doing, you know, and you say, yes, this is the company you are trading, you are buying and selling for your client and even for your portfolio. So it gives you that form of not really attachment, but that you're able to appreciate because it took us through all their processing, everything, you're able to see it. And of course, you know that once I am in that team, of course, I will tackle them on sustainability <laughs> i will tackle them on in terms of the environment because it's not just telling me this is the profit you have made at what cost to the environment to your local environment were they supporting the locals there because okomo press school there is in the do state too yeah i agree yeah. vast hectares of land so these are people's village villages and their activities how is it impacting on my grandmother that is from that village how is it impacting impacting the locals you know, because agriculture has to be sustainable. Because what you take from Mother Earth, you need to replace back. Are they using so much fertilizers in terms of chemicals? Are you destroying the environment? But again, for what we saw, Okomo, Presco, they were up to standard. But it is even NASCO that don't even surprise me. NASCO, I think, used to be. Is, is it another Dangote industry? Of course, it was a government company before, after privatization, yeah. Dangote uh, bought it, and of course, they changed their name. It's no longer NAS NASCON, something NASCON and Allied, yeah. to reflect the new realities of what they are doing. Salts, being a biochemist, salts, you just take salt, and it's not iodized, it's a problem. So we saw that they were socially responsible, that they fortify the salt they are producing with iodine. That is, that will prevent so many medical conditions, you know, where they don't have enough seafood. That's goiter. I know what is goiter. You know, so for that, that told me, or that tells me that NASCOM is a responsible company. And being with the Dangote group, of course, they are following the seven pillars of their sustainability. So you can, and of course, all the Dangote companies, you see how they are doing very well. So I expect a lot from um, Okomo, and so I'm not surprised with these numbers I'm seeing, both the top line and um, this line. profit um, after tax. All right, so moving now to earnings per share. Livestock, uh, minus seven Kobo. Nascon, one Naira, nine Kobo. 
Presco, 15 Naira 88 Kobo, and then Okomo Oil, 18 Naira 92 Kobo. Uh, very quickly, uh, Vincent, talk to us about this. Yes, from the figures, you can see uh, uh, Okomo is doing better than uh, Presco. That's a, a major area of comparison because they are both in the same industry. Yeah. And I think that's not far fetched why we have the price of Okomo trading higher than um, Presco. Before now, uh, Presco you know, was said. Uh, Ambo spoke as a day trader. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Go ahead, Go please. Ahead. <laughs> why, why with you? <laughs> you see, trading because uh, before now, people look at. Uh, I think the relationship between uh, Okomo and uh, Presco can be compared to the relationship between um, GT and Zenith. For a while, there was that mindset that. Um, GT was more efficient and so we sent to trade higher than Zenith. But we have seen a reverse in position. And also that's also what we have seen in, uh, in the in position uh, between Presco and Okomo. And that's shown in their figure. You can see despite the higher turnover when you compare both companies, but in terms of any spare share, Okomo is doing better than Presco. That tells you more investors will want to prefer um, uh, Okomo to Presco. But I also buy into um, Ambrose analysis when you talked about the payment of dividend. Because the one thing you have to look at trends and you have to look at uh, seasons in a, in a company. It's not just to be sentimentally attached to the company. You have to look at what is happening. Okomo have paid a higher dividend than uh, Presco. So interim dividend, that tells you that some persons should be looking at that interim dividend. Uh, uh, what will be paid at final dividend? But for both companies, I think they are doing well, especially when we, uh, we talk about the fact that we have not been able to meet the, the demand. The supply has not been able to meet the demand. So it means that they're going to do, especially when we continue to have challenges with Forex, people cannot easily import this product, meet the local demand. So they'll continue to do well. Also, NASCON. NASCON has been relatively stable well, since the time that Dangote took over. And one good thing about NASCON, they have been able to diversify into right. uh, other areas. Beyond just focusing on salt, they are going into seasoning and other things. I think it has also helped in their stability and helped their performance, which is good for the business. The ability to diversify and means that they are going to be able to sustain their, their business for a long time, which is good for both companies. And like I mentioned, sorry, as I mentioned before, the challenges in the, for livestock, where we, we have seen there have been a lot of challenges when you talk about the cost of production. We have seen increase. Corn is a major uh, Products that they use in producing their goods, a major part of their goods. And we have seen the increase in the price of corn and other things, other things that formed part of their production. I think it definitely it will affect their price. Also, talking about the increase in price of diesel, I think that will also affect their production. Despite them uh, having break even, they have a, good, a, a little good price in, in the top line, but the, the bottom line is not interrelated because of other factors that have affected them. All right. Thank you. Very quickly, we'll look at uh, the profit margin. So for profit margin, livestock feeds minus 1.88 profit margin. NASCON 7.10, that's uh, profit margin. Presco 26.82. And then we have Okomu Oil Palm 35.97. Charles, our candidate was the owner. Well, the figures, they say figures, oh, <laughs> don't tell lies. Figures are there. Yes. Well, it shows that in the, of course, the Three companies, let's just leave a livestock half of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're, coming, they're coming back. <laughs> yeah, of course, they'll yeah, come they're back. back. Well managed, yeah. you can see, of course, uh, the, the profit um, margin there. That shows that the management is efficient in terms of how, because, you know, agricultural production is not something just buy and sell. You know, they do a lot of work. So, a lot of raw materials, input here and there to get to their finished um, product. So, Yes, I must give kudos to the management of both companies. Of course, even has come to, you know, for the how efficient they've been able to manage these companies, and we are seeing that um, profit margin. However, again, I will still go back to my. In terms. about thirty seconds, <laughs> <laughs> we're running out of time. Yes, kudos to the management of these companies. Okay, let me leave it at that. All right, thank you so much for coming yeah. on the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Ambrose, for joining us on the yeah, show today. Thanks for having me, but I will fi finally you know, draw the curtain. 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Investors should combine their work, their fundamental and technological work when investing. Now we're looking at dividend, you know, look the work for what 
fundamental to see whether the numbers support period. I tell you that this season is for what any season or All corporate right. action. All right. Let me look at these figures before you jump into any position. All right. Thank you. Vincent, uh, thank you. <laughs> Invest smartly for the new year. Yes, sir. Vincent, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. Right. Well, many thanks to you for joining. My name is Perpetua Fasome Peter. Do enjoy the rest of the day. Bye for now and happy weekend.